Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought, be brought to the, the glory of his, his resurrection, resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be, forever. Amen. Mass Intentions for the Day for the intentions of the Pastorelli Sisters, birthday thanksgiving of Marielle Ag Aragirang, 87th birthday of Anita Aban. For the healing and recovery of Father Nick Reforial, SSP, Herbert Garong, Sister May de la Lamon, SJBP, Melchor Peña, Meli Papango. For the eternal repose of the souls of Yunila Miguel Segan, Aristeo Baltasar, Villar Vatayag, Anita Diego, Emilita N. Quivel, Filomeno Leonor Victoria and June Tadenia, Siriaco Pasita Salvador and Armando Hoxon, Gillian Rose Par Paragas. For the poor souls in purgatory, for all living and deceased members of the St. Paul Mass Association, and for the Mass Intentions of the Sambuhay TV Mass.
give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as today we commemorate the independence of the Philippines, we offer the Mass for the preservation of peace and justice. And so as we gather, we acknowledge our nothingness, our sinfulness before the Lord. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, fault through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who show a Father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin, may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, such confidence we have through Christ toward God. Not that of ourselves we are qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us. Brother, our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant not of letter, but of spirit. For the, for the letter brings death, but the spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death, carved in letters on stone, was so glorious that the children of Israel could not look intently at the face of Moses because of its glory that was going to fade, how much more will the ministry of the spirit be glorious? For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, the, mi the ministry of righteousness will abound much more in glory. Indeed, what was endowed with glory has come to have no glory in this respect, because of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was going to fade was glorious, how much more will what endures be glorious? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Response Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. And they called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Response, Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees, 
and the law he gave them. Response. Holy is the Lord our God. O Lord our God, you answered them. A forgiving God you were to them, though requiting their misdeeds. Response. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Response. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your past, my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do you think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets? I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Praise Jesus, to Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Gandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at uh, sa lahat ng ating mga kababayan, ang ating bati, Happy Independence Day. No? Sa araw na ito at tayo'y nagdiriwang ng araw ng ating kalayaan, parang nyo po, itong mga araw na may ito naman ay nobena patungo sa kapistahan na atin pong ipagdiriwang itong darating na linggo. Pagkatapos ang Easter, ang muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoong Yesus, pagakyat niya sa langit, pagkatapos ng pagdiriwang natin ng Pentecostes, ang pagbaba ng Banal na Espiritu Santo, piyesta ng Espiritu Santo, Itong darating na linggo naman po ay kapistahan ng Santisima Trinidad. Kapistahan ng iisang Diyos, tatlong persona. At palagi ko sinasabi na itong ganitong nature ng Diyos, na ang Diyos ay tatlo ngunit iisa, ay sapagkat ang Diyos ay pagmamahal. At hindi mo pwedeng isabuhay ang pagmamahal kung ikaw ay nag-iisa. Kailangan merong kang komunidad. At sinisimulan ko po ang ating refleksyon ngayong umaga sa ganyang tono sapagkat palagay ko dyan natin may intindihan ang mga words ng Panginoong Hesus na narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo ngayong umaga. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Hesus, Do you think I have come to abolish the law? Sa, sa palagay ninyo, ako'y dumating upang sirain, wakasan ang mga batas, kanya, at mga propeta. Hindi. Narito ako upang ito ay gawing ganap Make them be fulfilled. Bakit ganon? Kasi nga, iisa ang Diyos, ngunit tatlong persona ang gawain ng bawat isa sa kanila ay hindi po taliwas. It's not in opposition to the work of the other. Kung sa lumang tipan, Sinimulan ng Diyos Ama 
ang kanyang plan of salvation sa pamamagitan ng pagpili sa Israel at sa pamamagitan ng tipanan ng Diyos Ama sa Israel sa pamamagitan ng batas ni Moises at mga propeta. Ang pagdating ni Jesus ay pagtutuloy. Hindi po ito pagtatapos, pagtutuloy ng nasimulan ng Diyos sa lumang tipan. So makikita po natin yung unity at continuity of God in action from the Old Testament to the New Testament. At ito ang dahilan kung bakit hanggang ngayon ang mundo ay nananatili. It is sustained. Imagine kung pagkatapos ng gawain ng Diyos Ama, pagdating ng anak, sasabihin niya, Oh, ako naman. Iba naman. Sirain ko lahat yan at may at meron din akong project. Yan, no? Parang yun nangyayari sa ibang parokya. Ginastusan yung altar, napaaganda. Pagdating ng bagong kura paro ko, bakbak naman. Hmm. Fundraising uli. Oh. De, walang katapusang renovation. Brothers and sisters, palagi ko itong ganitong napakasimple na leksyon ng Word of God ngayon ay isang napaagandang point of reflection din po sa atin bilang bayan. Bayang Pilipinas, nagdiriwang ng kalayaan at kasarinlan. No? Kung minsan tiyatanong natin, bakit ba ang tagal-tagal na natin, more than 100 years na daw ang kalayaan natin, ang istorya natin. In fact, sabi natin, we are the oldest democracy in Asia. Tayo ang pinakamatandang republika sa Asia. More than 100 years. Pero tayo po ay naunahan na. Aminin natin. Naunahan na ng mga mas batang mga bayan. Kasi sa totoo lang, yan ang sakit ng Pilipino. O, wala pong continuity. O, pagsa, pagpasok ng bagong pamahalaan, lahat ng sinimulan ng luma, palit. Baklas. O, palit lahat. Baklas lahat. Walang, program, walang programang itinutuloy. Lahat ng programa, putol-putol. O, eh, paano natin gagawin yung building? Di ba yung building? You put what you have to build on top of another. oh hindi mo sinisira. You build on what is already there. oh Brothers and sisters, I think dapat ganun din ang ating pong attitude. Hindi lang bilang bayan, bilang pamilya. We build on what the other has done. Oo. Ang buhay po ay hindi po oposisyon. Ang buhay po ay mas magandang tignan bilang complementarity pagpupuno, pagdadagdag, kung ano ang meron yung isa, punuan mo para sa ganon tuloy ang building. I think kung ganon po ang attitude natin sa buhay, rather than competition, opposition, yan. Oh. Ang Pilipino, ganon eh. Pilipino ka ba? Ah, 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 sa Ilocos ako, Ilocano ako. Pilipino, ah, ano de Bicolano ako? Nauuna yung ako. Nauuna yung regionalismo. Lalo na siguro kung naging federalismo na tayo. Di kanya-kanya ng federalismo yan, kanya-kanyang bakod. O, oh, lalong walang nangyari sa atin. Oh, kaya, 
pag-isipan po natin, no? Sabi natin, man is made in the image of God. The image of God is not only the image of power. It is the image of unity, oneness, continuity. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept the sacrifice we offer to you with humble and contrite hearts and wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord, among all your children. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate with love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like do fall that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, be safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not, O Lord, on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now share to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb May the of God, of the body you take blood away blood the blood sins blood of, blood of the world, blood have blood mercy blood on blood us. Blood Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, by the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death you gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins, from every evil, Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let, let me be parted from you. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be free.
Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphone, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and the blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that He has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before the final blessing, let us just pray to the Blessed Mother Mary, patroness of this country, for all our needs and for peace and justice in this country. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of, of Mercy. mercy. Hail, Hail our, our life, life our, our sweetness, sweetness, and our hope. To you, you do we cry for banished, children, children of Eve. Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your and eyes of mercy toward us. us. And, and after this, this our exile, show unto us the blessed the fruit, fruit of your womb, womb Jesus, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Vocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus' way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus' life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus' life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. 
Jesus' life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus' truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus' way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus' life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Prayer to the Souls in Purgatory Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of purgatory, and through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you, Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. Accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.